Hi, this is Kim Hallen with Unbridled and I am super excited to share this amazing video footage with you that I shot earlier today. Um, I'm going to let the footage speak for itself, but what you are going to see in action today is my two horses, Puck and Tempo, um, working hard on supporting one another in um, discharging negative energies around trailer loading. So something very interesting is happening here that I wanted to come on and talk about. Um, for the past three days, I have just been allowing my horses to have some time each day with the trailer opened so that they have the option to get on if they want. And every day, Puck and Tempo, I don't know if you can see that both of them are, are on board here. Um, Puck and Tempo are inside here. Um, They've been getting on each day and spending between 30 minutes and an hour and a half uh, just being on the trailer, sometimes coming on and off, changing positions. Uh, sometimes Rayleigh and Marcus have also been involved in coming up. Um, the others won't get on while the girls are on, but you can see that they're all in a very mellow state right now, almost. Um, supporting each other uh, even though Rayleigh and Marcus are not in the trailer they seem to be in the same mindset and there's no food in here there is really no reward for them to be in here and um, this has been going on for like an hour and a half today and um, earlier I'm going to explain in a minute some things that have been really interesting that have led me to the belief that, um, you know, what are they doing in here and why are they liking this? Um, had lots of theories to begin with. It was cool, maybe it was peaceful, you know, maybe there were happy memories in there, although I know that Tempo particularly has some, um, you know, definitely has had some stress and anxiety related to the trailer in the past and specifically related to being left behind when Puck and my previous horse, Shoki, you know, we would take them uh, places and sometimes Tempo would get left behind and that was extremely traumatic for her. Anyway, um, what I have seen happening today and what I truly believe is that my horses are taking this opportunity to work on releasing any negative charges that they have within themselves remaining about the trailer. And... I think they're doing this communally. Um, I think that all four of them are supporting each other in that, and they all have different levels of comfort or anxiety related to the trailer. Puck, the one that's farthest in, is the one that has what I would have said is probably zero um, stress and anxiety on the trailer. She's very, very comfortable trailer, loader, everything, has been for decade, uh, you know, 15 years, um, and she seems to be grounding this energy and space for the others, and earlier, Tempo, on her own, was practicing coming on and off, and she would come off, and she would um, kind of move away from the trailer a little bit, and then she would get stressed about, you know, Puck being on the trailer without her, probably back to that anxiety of Puck might leave on the trailer without her and she would call to her or talk to her softly nick her and then come back and get on for a while and then she would get off again after a bit and she'd go a little further away and she was almost working on her own self-regulation there were these she would just go back and forth in a circular motion and stay off longer and go further before coming back I had to take a break and I closed the trailer and then I came back out um I actually got them off the trailer when I needed to go inside and um, was inside for about an hour and I felt like they weren't finished so I came back out and opened the trailer again and these two got right back on and this is probably the quietest that Tempo has ever stood on a trailer um, in her life and definitely the longest at that level of quiet typically she's moving around pawing uh, maybe playing with things. No, not super stressed, but definitely not uh, 
I mean, these two, their eyes are both mostly closed. I don't want to step in, but I'll step in. I might disrupt the energy a little. Um, I think they know I'm supporting them with this. But, I mean, they are in just such a zen state right now. And I believe, truthfully, that they are working, doing all the work that's needed to take the space back to a neutral space. These horses, initially, both of them learned trailer loading with, well, Puff learned it with negative reinforcement and then um, was retaught with positive reinforcement. Tempo learned it with positive reinforcement, but also has had some, I won't go into it, but a few you know, stressful traumatic experiences with the trailer, including being left and not being able to get on the trailer. <laughs> um, and so this, this trailer has been both negatively and positively charged for them. And they seem to really want to take it back to neutral, which is just a beautiful thing. And um, if you had told me that horses would voluntarily do this, I have played no role in influencing what they're doing. I've just been observing. And um, truthfully, I'm, I'm quite floored. And again, these guys over here are just, you know, chilling. They're looking in this, well, Bailey's looking in this direction. Marcus is actually facing the other direction. But they've been still and quiet for the same amount of time, you know, an hour that these guys um, have been and were on the trailer earlier. So I'm processing all of this. I'm really floored by it. It's beautiful. It just reaffirms for me what I truly believe, which is that horses want to heal what is out of balance in them and that they will work voluntarily really hard to rebalance themselves emotionally and physically and you know, here they're doing it with the horse trailer and I'm doing absolutely nothing to train this. And my guess is I'm gonna to continue to do this for as many days as they want to do it. And my guess is at the end, I will have horses that have never been more confident and comfortable with the trailer because they've done the work on their terms. So beautiful. So what we see now is that Tempo um, backed out, voluntarily backed out, which she used to find very stressful to back out, always wanted to turn around on her own. She has backed out very calmly um, halfway and seems to be wanting to just stay in this position now and perhaps release negative charges. Um, you know, when she went through a period where she, we, we really struggled with tra trailer loading, to be honest, and we spent a lot of time with her in this position. I spent, she and I together spent a lot of time um, with me, you know, <laughs> wanting very much for her to go to the rest of the way and her not being ready to, um, even though I was as, as patient as I knew how to be. I know that she knew I wanted it and she couldn't do it. And um, so it's really fascinating to me that she actually was all the way in the trailer and now has backed out into this position and is just staying here for a long time. Puck is still um, inside, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but again, I think she is working on releasing negative charges that that position has for her um, in her past. Ama absolutely amazing. So Tempo has now been standing in this position for at least 10 minutes. And um, I just wanted to show you that up over there um, to the left, Marcus and Rayleigh are still in the same position, just uh, holding space and seem to be supporting the work or maybe even benefiting from the work that Tempo and Puck are doing here um, around the trailer. So. It's just such a beautiful process I'm witnessing. There we go. So now Tempo um, is thinking about coming all the way out, maybe. Hard to say. And just changing her position a little. Now we have Tempo's been doing some licking and 
chewing. Um, I, kind of, I think I missed it, but she was doing some licking and chewing here. Um, I think some kind of, you know, big mental transition or, or sort of uh, breakthrough or release, any of those things seem to have occurred with her standing in this position. So it's been at least five more minutes now, and I wanted to come on and say that there is even a big horsefly that has been flying around Tempo's hind legs. She's been swatting it with her tail and shifting her feet. Um, but even with a horsefly kind of harassing her, she is still staying in this position, and they are still with a little head toss. But they have still been, um, you know, I think the bug's getting to it, or maybe me getting up shifted something there. Um, I was going to get a closer look. But we now have Tempo. Um, yeah, she's angry about the bug, I think. But it was pretty amazing that she was, um, you know, staying committed to the work she was doing mentally and emotionally, even as that bug was really, um, you know, bothering her. Hi. And now, me getting up, I'm kind of disturbing the energy here. Hi, babe. Doing some good work, aren't you? You're doing some good work. Okay, I'm going to log off and um, you know, support her here for a minute. She's been doing some really good work. So when Puck moves on the trailer, do you hear Tempo talking to her? Uh, that's uh, in the past, that sound of her mother on the trailer without her was a really, really, really um, stressful thing for her. So I love that, oh, here comes Puck. It's gonna turn around and face this way. But what I love is Tempo's talking to her, but Tempo is not getting agitated. She's not feeling the need to go get on. Um, in the past, if Puck moved around on the trailer and made noises, that sort of triggered anxiety in Tempo and she wanted to get right back on. Hi. And I love that she's actually coming here and asking for a little support, which, you know, is not, those of you who know Tempo, she's not a touchy-feely kind of horse. Hard for me to concentrate on her while I'm also videoing, so I'm going to probably log off and support her, but I just wanted to explain what was happening here. I feel like she's now working on being off the trailer while her um, mom is on the trailer. So at this point, Tempo's been off the trailer for a little bit, and Puck is still in the trailer, and Tempo has um, just been kind of holding space out here. Um, two over there are still over there. Marcus looks like he's almost about to uh, fall asleep on his feet and lay down. And um, Tempo seems to be working on just being really good off the trailer. So now she's going to get back on, maybe. So I love that she was just sort of pushing her own boundaries, and now she's kind of going back to what feels like a comfort space for her, which is to be on the trailer with her mom. Let's look. So now Tempo's facing forward, and Puck is facing back. And um, my guess is that they will stay like this for a while. Um, you know, if you see Puck's eyes. Um, when I move, she kind of looks, but she's doing a lot of eye fluttering and just really, you know, holding space for this whole experience. And um, I'm just blown away by these guys and how they are supporting each other. Um, I can hear Temple licking and chewing up there. I can't see it, but I can definitely hear it. And, um, you can see that Puck is almost really in a meditative state. Really loose lower lip. And uh, there's even a horsefly in there. I see it. You might even see it. It's but they are in a Zen place that's just beyond horseflies at this point. So um, so thrilled I got to catch some of this on film. Just profoundly beautiful and impactful for me. Puck is now doing a lot of releasing. There's a lot of licking and chewing and some head tossing. 
Looks like she's going to turn them around. They're really comfortable with each other and um, communicate well. So there was a shift of now they've changed positions. There's also a horse fly happening. Tempo's doing some licking and chewing. Um, they are just uh, now in the opposite positions. Was you know showing some interesting. Uh, there's not really a bug that I can see her around her right now, so I'm not sure. Um, all of that head movement seems to be more of an emotional release, maybe. Um, and I see that now Marcus is moving to a new place, so there's a shift that's happened with the other horses as well. Rayleigh's actually coming a little closer. I'm going to back up and just kind of see what happens here. If Rayleigh decides to come closer, I want to offer, get out of that space so that he can do that if he wants to. Meanwhile, the other two are still on the trailer. And Rayleigh has quite a lot of uh, trauma with trailering. He has come up in the last couple days and sniffed it and looked inside uh, while the others were in. He would not, I don't think, try to get on while the girls are on there. But he definitely has spent some time, you know, wanting to be around the energy of them on the trailer. And he's kind of inching his way this way. So I'll log off and then log back on if uh, something interesting happens with him. Meanwhile, the other two are still just holding that space inside the trailer and working it out. Really nice release there. I felt like there was a transition. I think she's also got some bug itches going on that she wants me to help her with. <laughs> Is there a big bug on you? I don't see it. Oh, I was clearly coming out and asking for help with the bugs. So I don't know if that shaking was um, <laughs> a release or if that was just about a bug that was on her. I feel like she was asking for help. Um, so... <laughs> Oh my goodness, a little more support. Okay, so I'm gonna leave again off the video and just do some more support with her. Um, Puck is still on there, I don't know if you can see her. She's on there, still holding space. Uh, and Tempo has come off again now. They were on there together for, I would say, gosh, a good half hour. Um, just Puck is just, this is amazing me that she is just, even by herself, leg cocked, she is just you know, grounding this trailer with a really powerful um, intention and seems to be just, you know, letting Tempo, who's right here with me, um, letting Tempo work it out. So beautiful. So I was, you know, hanging out with Tempo a little bit outside the trailer, and then I came back over here to have a seat, and um, when Tempo didn't have me to kind of anchor her outside, she's back to halfway in. And so we'll see how long this lasts. Tempo has been in this position now for another at least five minutes, and um, I just wanted to, in case it wasn't clear, I want to be sure that um, I'm clear that the horses have access to not just this back pasture, but also the gates open to a front pasture um, where Marcus is. He's the gray. There's also, you know, a hay net, um, water. So these horses have access to pretty much anything. They also a run in shelter they have access to over there. Um, you know, they don't need to be in this trailer <laughs> to have any of their needs met. 
Um, and in fact, there was just a sound next door. I think Tempo heard that. Yep. So she's um, checking on that. Now Puck's turning around. So a noise that was unfamiliar that's got them a little bit uh, curious, maybe a little on edge. But yet Puck is still staying on the trailer. And they're just, you know, responding as they would if they were in the pasture and something unusual happened. Um, now Puck's actually turning back around on the trailer. I think a lawnmower and some stuff is starting next door. So Tempo is actually leaving Puck, coming to me. Hi. But leaving Puck on the trailer again. So this seems to be the repeated thing she's working on. <laughs> Right, baby is um, you know spending time on the trailer with puck or halfway on the trailer with puck different configurations and then she'll come off for a little while a little further this time um, coming to me right now to get some loving <laughs> oh we got some really good I don't know if I can get that um, we had some really interesting jaw action uh, releasing um, I'm just sort of helping her process here. Um, so all of this is, is part of her, <laughs> part of her, um, you know, continuing to process and work things out. And I'm, I'm part of this process for them or for her kind of, I think I'm providing some grounding energy over here. That's helping her work on not, being on the trailer with Puck and being okay with the fact that Puck's on it without her and that nothing bad's going to happen. Puck's not going to leave, right? Good girl. So I'm. this is me in my chair and now Tempo is just uh, hanging out over me. Um, still processing, but definitely uh, using me as a grounding place or perhaps since a lot of our her trailing experiences in the past are my trailering experiences with her, and um, perhaps we're healing together here. It's beautiful. Um, and I've been working also on releasing any negative energy that I may still be holding, or past experiences, past stresses. You know, most of us who have horses have had stressful experiences with trailer loading. She's just you know, staying here with me for right now. Wanting, I think, wanting an armpit rub now. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say that um, it's really hot and I'm sweaty out here. I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, shiny and sweaty, but uh, this is what's happening. Um, we're continuing to release old charges around trailering as, as a herd. I love it. So Tempo and I have been out here, she's right over me still, continuing to, um, you know, release over here. And um, the lawnmower next door is getting closer, so Puck came out to the edge. I thought she would, you know, come on off, but she just seems to be checking on us since this noise next door has come up. But she's still, still committed to holding space inside that trailer. And... Um, Tempo and I are still um, over here, just, I'm trying to see if I can reverse it. Mm -hmm. I can't figure out how to do that right this second. But anyway, Tempo's up here over me. Um, still just holding space. So that's where we are. So Huck now has turned around and gone back inside the trailer. Um, Tempo was talking to her a little. She's still right here over top of me. Um, you know, Puck has now been in that trailer um, well over an hour. And that's after being in there for an hour or so earlier today. Um, this is the longest that Tempo has stayed outside the trailer. Sorry. Um, outside the trailer while I just got out of my chair. Um, while Puck's been in the trailer. Um, now Tempo is just kind of holding space at my chair, staying with me. <laughs> so 
So she's grounded with me now. Um, we'll see if she goes back to getting on with Puck, but this could really be about Tempo and I needing to do um, our own healing around the trailer and trailer loading. Yes, baby. So she's definitely has invited me to, um, <laughs> now she and I are going to go back to the trailer together. And maybe she would like me, oh, she's talking to Puck. Oh. Okay. Big noise next door. Hi, babe. You okay? So Tempo left, but only for a minute. Hi. Just going to give them space to decide what they want to do. Tempo's talking to Puck. Puck's still on the trailer. <laughs> yeah. And now Puck just went back to cocking her leg, actually. So pretty amazing that even though that spooked them both pretty good, um, Puck stayed on the trailer and Tempo's come back. Uh, amazing, really. And now Puck looks like she's going to turn around and go back inside the trailer. They're talking to each other. Um, Tempo's right here. Um, I am just really amazed with the commitment Puck has to encouraging Tempo or Tempo and me or all of us to um, just find peace with the trailer. She has access to grass. So Tempo just went around the other side. That's something new she hasn't done. Uh, she just went through that little space. So um, I don't know if she's trying to there she is, trying to um, indicate an end to this session. She's coming around now. Puck's, you know, keeping an eye on her. But Puck's gone back into the trailer to talk to her. They're talking to each other through the window. Rather than coming off, Puck is still they're, they're talking to each other through the trailer. Um, Puck's head is still down there. At the other end, Tempo's coming back around. Now, Puck turned back around. Just narrating here because this is all really fascinating to me. But Puck seems reluctant to um, end this, this session. She could come out and have grass, hay, water, anything. There's nothing in this trailer except peace. And here she oh, thought she was going to turn back around again. Tempo is going back around through this space, maybe. So I, I have a feeling Tempo is trying to end this session. So we'll see when Puck decides that they both decide that it's over. Clearly, it's still not over. <laughs> Puck went back inside, and now Tempo is um, partially back inside. There's still horse flies in there, sort of driving them crazy. But, um, and Puck, I think, is now looking and chewing up there. Yeah, it's really hard to see for you guys, but I can see her doing, oh, yawning, doing a lot of releasing up in the front. And Tempo's just hanging out behind. Um, so, looks like we're not done yet. I'm going to try to hang out here and see exactly how long it takes for them to let go of this, uh, this amazing session. Instead of um, breaking it up, I want it to be on their terms. Meanwhile, Rayleigh and Marcus are now seem to be about to head into the front pasture. And Puck is suddenly pawing in the trailer at the front. So I feel like maybe another transition or deeper understanding. Marcus turned back around this way. So I'll come back on when something else interesting happens, but Puck is still pawing in the front. Um, I know it's not that she feels trapped because she can easily ask Puck to move back and out of the way. That dynamic is both of them can ask and move each other around. So I feel like now maybe Puck is either releasing something of her own or something for one of the other horses. 
The tempo is getting on, almost as if to support her. And they're both right up in the front there together. So that's where we are. The tempo is now, she's only been a, a couple minutes, and the tempo's backing herself back out, at least partway. like she's going to hang out in this position again for a while longer. Never mind, she's coming on out and coming back to hang out with me some more. So I'll go off camera and um, do some energetic releasing with tempo. Puff just turned around, but does not appear that she's ready to come off yet. A lot of really deep processing happening for both of the horses. Puck is exploring closer to the edge here. Tempo is exploring my chair now. Oh, lots of releasing. Look at this nice. That's part of the process of releasing. Now she's actually going to put a little more distance. And between her and Puck is standing in the door still, facing out but not going out. And look at this. Tempo is actually leaving and returning to grazing. Huge, huge step for these two um, for Tempo not to be really obsessing about the fact that temp uh, that Puck is on the trailer without her. Hey mama, is this what you were working toward? Is this what you were supporting your baby and being able to do? Your grown baby. And you're such a generous mom. Thank you for helping us. <laughs> Not done yet. Okay, so Puck moving around triggered a little bit of calling from Tempo, but she put her head back down to graze. She's trying. She's working on her own thresholds. Now she wants to, I think, come back and just make sure everything's still okay over here. Stopping at the tree though, huge progress for her not to come running, running back when she heard Puck moving around. But she is gonna check on it, but it's all very, very calm. <laughs> Talking to her mom a little, big sigh. Trying to decide what she wants to do next. Coming away from the trailer again. Uh, yeah. I can feel that I want to do that with her. Good girl. Such powerful healing. Hmm. So this, this repeating of patterns, um, something very common in horses as they are self-regulating and, um, you know, transitioning to like new understandings, new, um, <laughs> yeah, so she plays with the chair a bit and she might then um, return to the same area where she was grazing a little while ago. Oh, a little poo. <laughs> More releasing. Different kind of releasing. Meanwhile, Puck is still at the front of the trailer. Looking this way, though. Marcus is holding space at the hay net. Rayleigh's gone on to the front pasture, but he's still in sight. So, uh, 
um, Puff almost seems to be practicing making noise in there so that Tempo has a chance to try not to get overreactive to that. It's still triggering her to, to talk to her mom, but um, Puff's just turning around and around in there. And Tempo, you know, is able to stay out here relaxed. She can't see her mom from where she is. She can hear her and they can talk to each other, but she can't see her. It's a pretty huge thing, again. Um, hi, I know. So I just sort of moved my energetic space and she's gone back over. I'm going to stick with this because I think it's pretty important and I, I feel like a new shift is coming soon. Um, really following Puck's lead on, you know, at what point is a good stopping point here. I would never probably have worked on something this long if I were in charge of the session. So it's um, fascinating to me that these two horses, you know, have all other kinds of other choices right now and have just spent literally hours today uh, together working on these charges related to the trailer. So Puck's pawing again. Um, this could be a way to release some energies. You know, I'm just kind of speculating. Hi, babe. And Puck's right outside. No, Puck's tempo, I'm sorry, is right outside. I'm thinking about going around. Nope, back inside. Yep, all the way back in. More time inside. I'll be back. They almost uh, started doing some mutual grooming in there. And then Tempo started backing up. I think she's going to come back off. Really almost having an energy of wanting to start some mutual grooming. Yeah. keep thinking that maybe Puck's going to say we're done, but then she's turned back around and gone back in. Tempo seems to have really made a decision that she's ready to release this and switch gears. Even with Puck making some noise and moving around, Tempo is really made a big shift and kind of moved off to do something else. Releasing some. And Puck is just continuing to hold that space. And really seems like she's just working hard to uh, help Tempo work on you know, letting go of their need to be together. This feels to me like a really generous act by Puck. Tempo's continuing to move away and sort of joining up with Marcus there. Huge transition. Puck is falling and making sounds that normally would cause Tempo to get really concerned or excited. But as you can see, Tempo is not responding. <laughs> it's almost felt like, you know, let's, let's see where we are with this. Puck's, you know, moving and shifting and making noises. Now turning around. Tempo is not showing any concern. 
puck is now at the front, or yeah, I guess this is the back, but the opening to the trailer. Um, and you know, still Tempo is able to release her energetic anxiety about what Puck is doing over here. It's just literally amazing. They are, I could say they're training themselves, but I don't think that is the right mindset to take here. I think what they are doing is working as a team and as a community to heal what is still wounded and hurting and um, you know, having negative energy charges within themselves and each other. So she's turning around and going back in. Tempo has now turned and is listening, but is still staying really calm and not feeling the need to, you know, whinny or call to her mom. That's a pretty long time for her to stay out there away, relaxed. Um, and Puck has obviously feels like um, there's still some work to be done here. So I'll log off and come back on when something else happens. Uh, Puck is still on the trailer and Tempo is right here. Tempo has been out of the trailer for um, at least 10 minutes, but there's something else I wanted to mention. So Puck and Tempo have been, you know, doing this trailer, uh, energy discharge uh, for a total of close to three hours today. Um, and I wanted to show you that when horses are stressed, as we all know, they coo on the trailer. This is all the times that one or both of them have um, come off the trailer to do their poo. So they've been on the trailer for several hours, as I said today. And there is not one poop pile in the trailer. There's dirt from them tracking in and out, but not one poop pile in the trailer. Which just tells me this has all been very calm and that when horses poop in the trailer, it is more stress and anxiety. Um, they've actually come off the trailer to do their pooping here. So now I seem to have released a little bit of energy. Puck turned around, tempo's coming. So me standing up and walking around here sort of changed the dynamic and might have made tempo think that something was gonna happen, you know. Trailers are one thing, then you add people to it and there becomes a different energy charge. Even though I was, you know, just talking about poo and no other intention that um, shifted things, obviously. <laughs> Tempo still hasn't come to where she can see Puck, but she's much more trusting that she knows it's all okay. She was just uh, checking on things after I got close to Puck. So now they're talking to each other again a little. And we'll just see what happens here. I'm gonna sit back down in my chair. Nice, so Tempo's choosing not to get back on the trailer. She's coming near me, but not being, you know, as um, on top of me as she was in the past. She's doing a lot of, still doing some releasing. Puck has turned back around and is facing the front of the trailer again, um, you know, away from the door. She's all the way inside again. And, um, Obviously still doesn't, so she's pawing in there again, which has got Tempo's attention. Um, again, I don't know if she's giving Tempo chances to work on her own emotions. Good job, Tempo. You okay with that? And Tempo is releasing her need to obsess about that. So beautiful. So beautiful. Puck is a master teacher, a master holder of space and energy. 
and wisdom. And endlessly patient today. She's turning around again. What a beautiful girl. What a beautiful girl. Look at this. She has decided the session is over. <laughs> now that got Tempo excited. And a little poo. <laughs> I don't know if she's coming on off the poo or to say that today's session is over. So we'll we'll wait and see what happens next. What a beautiful girl. There it is. We're done for today. Three hours of working on trailering. Beautiful. Thank you for tuning in for this amazing session. I'm so glad you could share these uh, incredible experiences with me. And um, if you'd like to learn more about uh, me and my work, you can visit me at www.unbridled.guru.